Hey guys, Matt, Legacy 4x4. This time we're working on this two horse bumper pull trailer I bought for some livestock, moving some livestock around. Um, not a lot to it. We're gonna do a couple mechanical upgrades as well as a couple of cosmetic upgrades. Stick around. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty tall in the back. It just has this lower gate. This lower gate's a five foot gate. Big enough for most things and probably big enough for the sheep and goats I'll be hauling, but I wanna be a little more safe. So we're gonna go ahead and add a big swing out gate that covers the top 30%, 40% of the uh, five to eight foot section of the trailer. So really simple design. As we can see, zooming in here a little bit, we have some window rails that protect the windows on the outside, obviously. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and match every single one of these rails with a uh, part of our gate, swing out gate, um, horizontal bar. What I will be using to make this swing out is one by one steel eighth inch square tube. And uh, the only reason for that is because I have a bunch of it I got for free. So either way, we're gonna go ahead and cut out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of one by one square. Not a lot to it, should be pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up. Okay, so all I did was take a speed square, cut one perfectly to size, and then I'm gonna cut the other six the same length. Once these are cut, we're gonna go ahead and put them on the ground and do the planning. I am gonna be using my trusty chop saw. This has seen plenty of better days and the blade's almost done on that, but uh, it gets the job done. And uh, that's what I'm gonna cut them all with. Should be flush enough for uh, government work. Okay, so here's our basic gate design. It just matches those horizontal rails that are already on the trailer. And with that being said, it should be pretty easy to put together and build. All I'm gonna do is put some squares in each of the corners to hold it nice and tight. If I can find them, they're kind of lost right now. If not, I'm just gonna hold them by hand and pray. The second thing is I will tack everything together on this side, flip it over, tack the other side, and then I'll go for a full weld penetration pass on the whole nine yards. And it should look nice and pretty up there. After that, we're gonna take some weldable hinges. These are from Tractor Supply. You can get them anywhere, and online, in person. They're really sold anywhere. Anyways, you get some weldable hinges, probably add some more beef to some of these sections where we want the hinges. And also we have a gate latch on the other side. We'll do the same thing too. But first things first, let's weld this up and get this looking nice and pretty. Okay, so a key thing here is once one of my sides are fully tacked in, I'm kind of letting it move around and wiggle around. I know I cut these square and flush, that's all I'm going off, as well as my marks on the steel itself for the distance and spacing. So I'm letting it move around and then when I get to a certain joint, I just give it a nice little nudge, tack it in place, and you're good to go. Not a lot to it. All right, so we have everything tacked in place. Gonna go ahead and take a step back, make sure everything looks nice and square, which it does look square enough for me for my old uh, horse trailer. So good enough for me. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and start doing full weld passes and uh, just trying to make sure everything stays square. So watch for any warpage. All right, so you guys get the picture of what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and give my knees a break while I'm standing here and uh, finish up fully welding this, and then I'll talk to you guys about what's next when we get there. As you can see right here, we have some hinges laid out. I'm gonna go ahead and actually weld the hinges on right now, and then we'll hang it up on the trailer itself and see how it lines up, so. All right, now that I've taken a step back to look using the ramp and some scrap pieces of support, I think that's pretty equal, pretty even. I think that's probably about where I want it. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot to this, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and weld those hinges in. Like I said, I don't think there's a whole lot to it, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and weld those hinges in. 
like I said, I don't think there's a whole lot to it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and weld those hinges in and then I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the latching mechanism. So I'm gonna get to doing that and figure out some a few other things and uh, we should be good to go. She wasn't running away. She was uh, chasing goats like a bad girl. I know you can't do that. You can't do that. Go get, go sit on your chair. Come on. Up, 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 up. Good girl. Stay. Anyways, where were we? We have a perfectly functioning swinging gate. It probably can't support my weight just because uh, it's one by one eighth. But uh, and there she goes again. Um, it's one by one eighth, so it probably can't support me. But perfectly swings. Nice, wide open pops back. Now we're going to go ahead and work on the latching mechanism. Okay, you might not be able to see this with the uh, light in the background, but this is just a normal uh, gate latching mechanism that you can get from Tractor Supply anywhere else. Nice little swing arm, uh, has a nice spring-loaded pin in there, so you can slam it shut and it still shuts, and then the catch obviously has a, uh, a piece to catch it. So it usually just bolts right into a piece of wood, call it a day, it looks like that. But in this situation, we're going to go ahead and run a one inch runner, the same size as this piece of uh, gate material, obviously. Kind of serve as a backstop for the gate as well. And then we'll have a nice flat section to uh, mount this to. And we either are going to uh, tech screw this in, self tap screw this in, or uh, weld it. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll play it by ear. We'll see how I feel. Ah. Uh. Should've been wearing glasses for that. Should've been wearing glasses for that and then I proceed to go ahead and uh, do it again. So, go me. All right, gonna weld the latch on now. Should be the last step besides uh, throwing a coat of paint on this. All right guys, so I'm gonna throw a coat of paint on this and uh, I'll check back in once that's dry and we can talk about the next steps in the trailer. Should be fun. Okay guys, so uh, the trailer's over there, obviously, and I'm done working on it for right now. I have other responsibilities I gotta deal with to include uh, all these guys, so. That being said, it's gonna be a three-part video. First part was that gate. Second part will be doing the coupler jack um, welding installation on the front of the trailer. Third part's gonna be paint, plus probably like tire mounts, spare tire mounts, stuff like that, just everything else. So three part video, sorry I couldn't get it all in one video. Got a lot going on right now with my life, but other than that,
that was a uh, nice, fun, quick project. And as a side note, I did tow that trailer six hours so far to pick up uh, those sheep over there. So with that being said, trailer works great by itself, but there's still a lot of other upgrades that we're gonna need to do. So uh, three-part video, stay tuned. I'll be knocking the next two parts out this week.